Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we are creating this user interface which is a news app or plug interface in Sketch. We are working with Envision Craft which you are already seeing on the right side and we are focusing on generating autom uh, automatically generating content using Create Photography and also uh, I'm also talking about some of the stuff that you wrote down in the comments and this was like uh, related to working with grids, alignment and so on. So just watch the tutorial. I think we're going to have some fun and create this awesome user interface. So let's open up Craft by yeah, just going over to envision.com, envisionapp.com slash craft. You have to download it and install it and then we can toggle Craft and here we have the Craft bar. Now let's hit A to create a new artboard and we're going for the iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 now one. And what we're going to do is to place one of the photos that we chose. Now I got this photo right here from Unsplash. Of course we could choose like a random photo from the craft library or from like Unsplash. But I wanted to go for a black and white photo so that's why I just searched for it on Unsplash. Paste it onto your artboard and then change the size of it so it's like really matching our screen, matching our artboard. Try to find a nice size so it, it's look, so it looks nice and just try to make sure that your photo is really covering like all of the screen, all of the artboard. So that's is going, that is going to be uh, the background of the user interface that we are creating. Like that. And what we are going to do at first is to just head over to new from template and to choose a status bar that is available to us in this uh, template file. Let's just go for a normal white uh, Oops, normal white status bar and paste it onto your screen and for example using this align top icon or button you can align it to the top of your artboard. The next thing that we're going to do is to open up an icon set which we will use to, to place a menu icon right here and a search icon on the right side. So I'm using the material design icons, you can find them in the description as well as this design that we are creating right here and of course just copy the designs. I'm going to close this so I'm not getting confused by the browser like that. Um, paste it onto your artboard and let's also go for a search icon that's right here. Copy the shape and paste it onto your artboard like that. Both of them should be white and I would like to place them at the top just below the actual status bar. Zoom in a little bit and of course you can use uh, the rulers to get like a little grid. You could just uh, use 16 pixels as a grid for example but for the tutorial because I don't want to spend like five minutes of aligning all of the stuff right here I'm just going to do it just using my eyes. I know a lot of you guys said Max why aren't you like using some of the grids and it's not that I'm not using any grids like if I'm u doing real projects but they are for this tutorial right here, spending uh, this would, this would uh, like mean spending a lot of time uh, on aligning stuff, and I'm for the moment right here just trying to make sure that we have a great experience that we are designing. But of course, if you're doing a real project, focus on alignment and focus on design. But nowadays, since we have so many resolutions and so on, I think designs or pixel perfect designs aren't that important anymore. But now let's get back to the actual design. 
Now I want to add a text, basically some categories at the top, which say featured media of finance. These are like the categories of our news app or of our blog, whatever you want to call it. The featured story should be right there. Align to the center of the document, to the middle of the document. And now we could of course just go show the rulers, place our mouse of, or our cursor at the center of the icon, of the menu icon. And then we can just align the text. And we could of course do just the same with the search icon. So we have a aligned top like menu. Okay then just copy and paste the actual featured text and let's change it up. I, as I said media and this one right here should be finance like that. I just say let's reduce the opacity of these two a little bit could also say these should be maybe light so they aren't really that visible so we only have this featured content right here which is really visible and I think we should add a small fill to the background which is black because it's important that we can really see the text the menu icons and so on in a good way and using a small layer which is darkening our background photo we just see that it looks great but it's also not hiding any elements because of course it's very important to have a great user experience and related to that of course is that the user is able and it's easily able to see all the elements and they should have enough contrast. Okay, so we have this menu at the top managed. So we could of course also just say we group this and call it top. So we have some order right there. Let's create a new text layer and let's call it featured again. Oops. And I want to place it around like th right there. Let's change it to medium and let's reduce the size a little bit because right below this featured uh, like headline we are going to place a little space holder or basically a automatically generated text by InVision, by InVision Graph. Now let's change the size and prepare basically the file for the for pasting the information like that and let's change the weight to regular or maybe even let's change it to light like that. Now what we want to paste is custom type and we want article. Now we can choose from a category. And of course, this is related to maybe something like travel. Yeah, I think let's go for travel. And we should be able, if we reduce the size a little bit, like that. or if we make it a little bit bigger like that that we have a nice text available it's really funny I only automatically generated this right now and it's telling us something about Safari or something like that so let's put it up a little bit let's close this window and let's make sure we can read the whole uh, headline. 
I'm going to reduce the size a little bit and let's just try to make sure we have like a nice sentence available like that. This is going to be our sentence and it's the featured story. We could change the line height but we are going to leave it at 50 pixels and this is the featured story as I said. Let's change the font weight to thin. Let's try this out. That looks kind of nice I think. And as I said it's the featured story but I would also like to copy the featured text layer, drag it below our actual content and let's use our Let's just use the Envision Craft plugin again to create like a headline. Maybe we should also should maybe we should also change this and use headline. We will try this out in a second, but for this one, I think we should go for headline and let's also choose travel again. And this is basically the subheadline. Maybe we should also choose headline for this, but they are very short. And this is look this looks actually actually kind of nice. So you just saw that using Envision and their craft plugin you can easily add text and so on to your file. And that's basically today's today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to really spend more time in Envision Craft again because they are offering so many great features like prototyping, pasting content, duplicating stuff and so on. And I hope you enjoyed it and if you would like to see more craft videos, hit the thumb up button on this video or subscribe if you haven't. So thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. See you!